Welcome to the March drill. It's a little, little snowy outside today, but we're hoping for a little bit better weather over the weekend. Well, this month we're bringing you this short video from the Air Operations Group. And the reason why we're doing that is, as you're well aware, we're going to have an assumption of command on Saturday where Colonel Dan Kramer will assume command of the Air Operations Group. He's actually the fourth commander in the 10-year history of the uh, AOG. Great performance, impressive performance for the last 10 years, and we expect uh, great things out of Colonel Kramer as he leads the group into the future. The other piece I wanted to talk about this month, and the chief touched on it quite a bit last month, is readiness. As you know, uh, you may not know actually, our last deployer from our recent uh, RCP cycle just returned this week. So it's great to have everybody back. Everybody did a phenomenal job. It was Everybody came back safely and their performance was tremendous uh, throughout the entire deployment. But I want to re remind everybody, in addition to your AFSC training and being ready uh, as a Air Force member, that personal readiness is also very, very important. So please make sure that you're ready, your family's ready, and that you're ready to deploy at all times because we have a, the world is changing continuously. Uh, there's lots going on right now in the military, lots going on in the world, and we need people to be ready at all times to deploy. Well, I'm gonna hand it off to the chief. He's got some great words for you. I hope you have a great March drill and we'll, we'll see you around. Thank you, Colonel Teff and Team Battle Creek. Welcome to March RSD. And as a reminder, it is my privilege and my honor to stand here today at your service. So thank you. You know, if you're anything like me, you mark time by what drill it is. So for example, when it's March drill, I know spring is in the air. And even though it doesn't feel like it today, we know that it's right around the corner. It's time to shake those winter blues, reinvigorate myself with respect to PT, and get ready for those that shot of springtime endorphins. For all of us, it's a great time to come out from behind the desk, get out from behind the computer, and practice visible leadership. And what I mean by that is eyeball leadership. You know, when you see Colonel Teff and I out and about within the wing talking to folks, we're doing that because we want to get to know each and every one of you, and we want to hear your concerns. But also, too, we want to set the example. Recently, we kicked off the one-tenth wing mission immersion initiative wherein every member of this wing will have the opportunity to see what the other squadrons across the wing are doing. Well nothing would preclude you from getting out on your own and meeting with folks from around the wing. So I challenge you, starting now, get out from behind your desk, interface with those individuals not only within your unit but across the wing. Find out who they are and what they're about. Because after all, Battle Creek, we are one team and we're one family. It just wouldn't seem right if I didn't at least touch on professional development. In May, thanks to the hard work of our Human Resource Advisor, Chief Master Sergeant Balabuck, we are going to be holding a Senior NCO and Company Grade Officer Joint Leadership Symposium in Alpena. This is going to be a great opportunity for us to strengthen that critical relationship between our Senior NCOs and our Company Grade Officers. I'm going to be there and I encourage maximum participation from both of those target groups. It's going, to, it's going to be a lot of a learning, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. And speaking of fun, also in May, on May 19th, your Chiefs group will be holding the 24th annual Chiefs Golf Outing. This will be at Bedford Valley Golf Club, which is just outside of Battle Creek. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're not a good golfer like me, that's okay, because it's really not about golf. It's all about having fun and camaraderie. And the best part is the proceeds from this event all go toward the health, morale, and welfare of our enlisted forces. And lastly, March is Women's History Month. Women have a rich and proud tradition within the Air National Guard. Starting in 1956 with Captain Norma Parsons being the first female in the Air National Guard to today. Women in the National Guard have molded and shaped the force in great ways and they do great things every day here at the 110th. So to the women of the 110th Attack Wing, I say thank you. And to Team Battle Creek, all of you, let's have a great drill, and I hope to see you out there.